What's up, Epic Life fam? It's been a while, I know. Um, and just so you guys know, the update from the whole issue of the car, the police, the LVMPD never did anything. The police just took another free ride. They don't take nothing fucking seriously. But ironically, they're expecting to still get paid. Hmm. I also went and I took to social media and I said, hmm, the LVMPD don't want to do their job and still expect to get paid. I said, and I put in, I quote, hashtag stay safe, hashtag get ready for a revolution. Think about what I'm saying there. I'm not just saying it for no reason. Um, and also, I just wanted to put out to the whole world um, Infowars and RT News. And there's a uh, Neonetal is an independent <laughs> media source. These are all underground who give you actual factual stuff. Um, bro, really? Um, but I gotta put this out there. I can vouch for Caitlyn Bennett. I can certainly vouch for Millennial Millie. They are doing some good, good things out there. They take it like a grain of salt. So I commend you girls for doing that. You guys are freaking awesome. And it takes a strong bunch of us women to get together to really make a point heard. I also am a pro-lifer. Uh, I'm not Republican. I'm not Democrat. I'm just somewhere in the middle. I don't even know what to call myself, really. Um, and um, other than that... Um, it's all about opening your eyes, you know, staying vigilant, and please, for the life of me, I have said it and I'll say it again, we cannot have Joe Biden in office. He is sleepy Joe. The good old fart can't even have a half a sense in front of national TV, and this is the guy that we're expecting to run America. It just doesn't run. It doesn't run and happen like that. It, it just doesn't. My family's been involved with politics forever. And, you know, while I'm certainly not too thrilled about it, at least it's opened my eyes. It's given me an insider perspective. I've also had the um, opportunity of meeting a couple of these people. And I'll tell you right now, there's been some that are really cool and then some that are really stupid. Um, and it's just about your your morals, your values, your character, what you truly believe is right and wrong. But you know what, you guys? It boils down to this. We are fighting a unseen war. By this there is I mean a spiritual warfare of good and evil, bad and wrong, etc. It is survival of the fittest, you guys. We are literally in a battle of life and death. By the way, Joe Biden fully supports abortion. He believes that killing an innocent child is actually okay, whether it was incest or rape. Guess what? I am a rape victim. I'm a domestic uh, violence survivor and rape survivor. And even if I had gotten pregnant by my aggressor, it wouldn't be his baby. It would be mine. That gift would belong to me that God has given me the moral obligation to protect and to raise. And the demeanor that the gentleman would have had, did have in the past, is his sin all by himself. He committed adultery, and to that I say when he something happens to him, or worse, he'll get it on the other side. So, God is justice. God is gracious to forgive. He's the all-sufficient, and, and I truly believe it. Um, and... As a, you know, rape and domestic violence survivor myself, I can tell you guys across national TV, I would have kept the baby. I would have sought to it that the aggressor would have been locked up. Um, you know, in my particular situation, unfortunately, um, you know, the idiot never got jail time because he was a smooth talker, whatever you want to call it. And... Um, you know, I'm blessed because I didn't get pregnant. I was traumatized because he drugged me and took advantage of me. But I came out a stronger woman, a stronger daughter, stronger Ooh. wife, stronger mother. It made me and molded me to the warrior I am today. And to all of my anonymous fans... Bro, really? <laughs> to all my... 
anonymous fam who watch my channel, you guys are the reason that I am strong. I am so blessed to have all of you. You guys are a part of my journey. And um, I really believe that my husband and God are the reason why I'm still alive. So, you know, I'm grateful for all of that, guys. And, um, man, I just hope if it's one thing you take out of this vlog is that we cannot afford Joe Biden in office. He does not respect women. The little cozy campaign that he's been doing is nothing but pure blatant bullshit. Everybody who's been following and doing politics since forever knows that this man has not a single backbone. He also wants to bring back the Obama administration. That bastard himself also had human remains in his mansion. The FBI raided it, found it, and now there's an investigation going on. I heard also that he's on house arrest and so much more, guys. Things are definitely getting fishy and suspicious. And why these people are being permitted to run... God knows. God, in the end, will have the ultimate say, guys. But, please, I don't care who you vote for. Just do not elect Joe Biden. Do not vote for the coward. we got to ostracize his global agenda to conspire with Bill and Melinda Gates. All right, guys. I am out. I am getting a bit antsy, so I am going to go bye-bye. Peace. Love you guys.